the question is, you over the weekend, everybody, you took the Google all over the world. Like, your name was ringing everywhere. And one of them, yes, ma'am, because I have the scale. And one of them has, and most of them were asking, is she a, 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 an election denier, Carrie Lake? And that was like, like going around on all different cable news. What do you elaborate on this? I'm actually shocked you asked that question, George. <laughs> well, actually, Anthony, I've where's Anthony? One once in a while. <laughs> Come here, Anthony. You know, I, I did a little, actually, Anthony. Anthony, how old are you? 20. Are you a journalist? No. Well, you did better research than half these people. Um, let's talk about election deniers. Here's 150 examples of Democrats denying election results. Oh, wow, look at this. This is from, this is from uh, Joe Biden's press secretary. Reminder, Brian Kemp stole the gubernatorial election from Georgians and Stacey Abrams. Democrats saying that. Is that an election denier? Oh, look at this. Just heard Republican Ryan Costello said it would be difficult for Stacey Abrams to win because she lost her state bid, but yet she's still claiming she never lost. This is outright Hillary Clinton. Trump is an illegitimate president. Is she an election denier? This one says, was the 2016 election legitimate. It now definitely is a question worth asking. That's the Los Angeles Times. So it's okay for Democrats to question elections, but it's not okay for Republicans. It's a crock of BS. Every one of you knows it. We have our freedom of speech and we're not going to relinquish it to a bunch of fake news propagandists. If you want a copy of these, I'm sure that we're, Anthony would help you get a copy and help you learn how to be journalists, but look it up. It's been happening for a long time. Since 2000, people have questioned the legitimacy of our elections. And all we're asking is that in the future, we don't have that have to happen anymore. Okay. When I'm governor, excuse me, when I'm governor, we're going to make sure we have honest elections. We want the Democrats, the independents, and the Republicans to all know that their vote counted. We want fair, honest, and transparent elections. And we're going to deliver that for the people. But just remember, guys, this is one page after Hillary Clinton says George W. Bush was selected president, not elected. So let's start, if you're going to start throwing around terms like election denier, let's remember who the other election deniers were, Hillary Clinton and all the Democrats.